In our Singapore bus enthusiast community, one activity we love to do is joyride buses. However, it's not just about joyriding. From learning about the history of past bus routes to passing by its local landmark and unique bus routes, and to get to know more about particular bus services. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore. In this week's episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore, DME will bring you into two university towns run by one private bus operator. Instead, it's an exciting episode to showcase more of other uni buses run by private bus operators and run the entire campus. Today, DME will bring you into NUSA and TU, operated by Cofferdelgo. So, what's interesting about them? First, we are in NTU. Often known as Pula NTU by Singaporeans due to rather a very long distance away from other parts of the island. NTU is rather significant and although it's covered by SBS Transit Bus Services 179 and 199, some parts of the NTU need to be better covered. There are seven bus services, majority operated by Confidego, while a handful of them ran by Sangi Travel. It was used to operate by Tongta until early last year, when the news was announced of Confidego secured the contract worth of $20 million. The changes include making a new bus driver app for NTU bus services and adding 20 electric buses from September last year. There are five campuses where the bus service in the campus and the most popular bus service is CR Green. CR Green operates between Pioneer MRT and Luce and Lanyard Avenue and is the practical and free bus service to offer students of NTU to and for the campus. The rest of its bus services offers to students during semester period where they hop from one venue to another in the class timetable. After NTU, we are now in Cambridge for the NUS. Some bus enthusiasts in Singapore Buses in NUS are unique too. The famous orange livery for Volvo V9L and then Scania K230UB brings an image to the NUS. Operated by Confidago for a long time and offers students of NUS or Cambridge Terminal and MRT Station. However, unlike the NTU, NUS ISP offers more students dormitory for Prince George residents. Although there are many public bus services on the campus, the NUS ISB also offers some areas of the campus that is relatively inaccessible due to walking distance and the hill. To the bus enthusiast community, we recognize one of the popular Instagram pages at the ISB Man, where he featured the NUS buses. Do follow him on Instagram for more NUS ISB photos. The demand for NUS is relatively high in weekdays, especially during school term and exam season when students need to rely on the ISP to travel around the campus. However, thanks to the NUS NetsBus app, it will help the students with the bus arrival, location, and even the regular place. Like NTU, the NUS ISB offers a free ride to everyone, including members of the public, every day. But I try to avoid it during the exam period for the convenience of our fellow NUS students. The future ISP fleet in both NTU and NUS will be electric for zero emission and quieter rides, bringing the cleanest environment to the University Town of Singapore. Have you enjoyed reading on either NTU or NUS ISP? Leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome bus related content.